Okay, today's lesson is a STEM challenge. We are going to do which boat will hold the most weight. And what you're going to need is a piece of tinfoil. And the teacher should specify how big the sheet is. They do have um, sheets that you can buy that are already cut. That's probably your best bet. You can get them at the dollar store. Some container that you can put water in that you can put the boat in. And pennies. Okay, so I made a boat. And what you do is you have the kids, you give them so much time, or students, and have them create a boat that floats. And you're going to see how many pennies before it doesn't float anymore if it gets water in there. So you just have them put them in. Okay, and what you could do too is after you're finished, you know, everybody writes down how many pennies actually fit in their boat until it doesn't float anymore and see who the winner is. But to make it with math, you could find out how much a penny weighs and do a multiplication, how many uh, pennies it actually was to find out the weight. And I think we're running low here. But anyways, you would count as you go. I did not. <laughs> um... And usually I try and play some inspirational music. Um, I do not own the rights to this music, but I usually play like Roll, Roll, Roll Your Boat or Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the kids would find that funny. They'd say, um, that's not inspirational. But anyways, you get the idea. You could also try dimes and do the same thing in quarters. And then you can compare the weights of, you know, how much it actually held of each. If you like my channel, please subscribe and good luck on the challenge.